Hey, what's up, everybody? First of all, I just want to start off by saying I really appreciate you guys, and I'm thankful that you guys have helped me reach 2,500 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you. Now, let's get to the video. I'm going to show you a free and open source wallpaper engine. All right, it's called Sucrose Wallpaper Engine. Sucrose is a versatile wall wallpaper engine that brings life to your desktop with a wide range of interactive themes all right to get it just go to google type in sucrose wallpaper engine just like that i would link it in the description but you guys know youtube's rules against linking things on youtube youtube doesn't want you to leave youtube they want you to stay on youtube as much as possible so this is why they have uh, rules that they re uh, that you enforce when you link things in the description or in the comments. Alright guys, so I just want to make that clear. This is why the reason I don't really link things in the description. Alright, so just go to Google, type in Sucrose Wallpaper Engine, and you guys should see it. You, should, you guys should see the Microsoft Store uh, link, which is what I'm on right now. And you guys can click install to install it, or you guys can just go to the GitHub page where it's also hosted there and um, to get it. So as you can see right here, this is the GitHub page, uh, free and open source software that allows users to set animated desktop wallpapers. All right, not just animated, but um, a whole bunch of other uh, features. So let's take let's take a moment to uh, just look through the GitHub. So you guys can set GIFs. I know some people out there call them GIFs. Uh, you can also set URLs as your background, web, video, or even a YouTube video, even from an application. So here's the features, some more features. You guys can go through them. I'm not going to go through each uh, and every one of them right now, but yeah, it works with um, multiple screens. So if you have dual monitors or triple monitors, it'll, it'll support that as well. All right, once again, it's completely free, open source, and no feature requires a payment. I understand there's many other tools out there that require you require you to pay to set animated uh, wallpapers on your PC desktop. All right, so you can also create and share your own themes. All right, as far as performance goes, uh, it's optimized uh, for your CPU and GPU uh, usage for a smoother experience. All right, and to download it, you guys can just like I said, you can download it from the Microsoft Store. Uh, or you can just get the uh, get the you know just the exe from GitHub right here. Um, oh yeah, you you need to have a .NET framework, all right, installed. So just get that. It's like a requirement, right, to run the program, or else the program won't run. So just get .NET framework uh, 4.8 on the GitHub page. They they link it right here. So get that, and majority of you are already have. Uh, Windows running on x64 uh, platform, so get the x64 uh, version. All right, if you're on older Windows or for some reason your desktop PC doesn't support uh, x64, then you're probably running x86. So get the x86 version. All right, so once you click this, it will begin installation, or once you've already installed it from the Microsoft Store, uh, let's run it. Let me show you how it works. So let me back out to my desktop. So as you can see right now, my desktop background is completely blank. I don't have any wallpapers. So let me run Sucrose Wallpaper Engine. So here it is running. All right. You can have a uh, dark mode, which is what I have right now, or light mode, right? Whichever one you prefer. I prefer dark mode. All right. So right now I'm on the library and the library does not have any uh, wallpapers i didn't get any wallpapers all right but before i do that let me just show you the settings real quick here's the settings all right you can uh change the language i don't i don't know how many languages it supports but uh yeah they keep adding new languages uh new translations and everything um start at application launch you can also you know make it run uh normally when your pc launches uh notifications um well, yeah, one thing I have to mention, the, some uh, some wallpapers, right, they do have sounds, 
Okay, so to change the sounds, you just have this bar right here, uh, which is like you can you can set the sound. I personally don't like having sound uh, from my wallpapers, so I just turned it all the way down. So if you guys have some anim animations that have sound, and you guys are wondering how to turn off the sound, it's from the settings menu and it's right here. All right. There's also other um, set uh, tabs right here in the settings you can go through, but we're just gonna leave that. Uh, for default right now so we're back here so yeah let's get some wallpapers all right so um click on the store right here and there's many uh varieties for you to pick from let me just uh make it bigger right here all right so you guys see here on the left hand side all right there's all which is just uh Gonna display all the wallpapers available. Here's abstract, ambiance, animals, animations, or right, anime. Uh, and once again, these are just the ones that come with it, right? You can always add your own. So, um, artworks, dynamic, film and TV. You guys get the idea. Minimalist. All right. Here's some RGB ones right here. Sky. All right. Space. So these are all the default ones. All right. Let me just uh, pick one just to demonstrate how it works. Uh, let me go with um, animals right here. So I like this eagle one right here. So what you do is uh, just click here, the download button. See the little uh, cloud and a uh, little arrow. So I'm going to click that to download it. So yeah, it says right here it's an eagle. It's a live wallpaper, so it's going to be um, it's going to be moving, right? So let me do that again. Did it download? Yep. Okay. So when the green, when it's green like this, that means it downloaded. So now let me go back to my library. Okay. So it downloaded it twice. So let me delete one. All right. So there we go, guys. There's the eagle wallpaper and the library. Now to enable it, just click on these, this button right here, and then click use, and then you're gonna see it change in the background. There we go. You guys can see the movement here. So yeah, that's just uh, and the eagle blinks as well. So that just that just one wallpaper right example. So let's go back to the sucrose engine. Now, if you want to add your own, just click over right here this plus sign, create wallpaper, and you can um, select whether it's GIF, URL, uh, a web from the web, video, all right, or a YouTube video or application. So that's how you set your own custom. Uh, wallpapers right and to change it for the, the display preferences right click right here display preferences so i only have one monitor so uh for you if you have dual monitors or triple monitors it will show one two three right here it will all show all the displays will appear right here <clears throat> right so if you want it to appear on one on one, only one screen so you select the screen which i have right now i have selected one and it will play on that screen if you wanted to expand across all screens, you click right here, right? It will just expand a duplicate, right? It's going to duplicate the same monitor across all the screens, all right? So that's just um, how to do the display preferences. All right, guys, so let me pick another one just for the demonstration purposes. Uh, let me do um, Enchanted Forest. Uh, I'll pick, no, I won't do this one. Let me see, Dynamic. Okay, I like this one. Uh, I'll do the forest right here. And as downloaded, so now let's go back to my library. Uh, use, there we go. And there we go, guys. Isn't that a nice wallpaper? So that's it, guys. Sucrose wallpaper engine, free, and it's open source. So check it out and let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I really appreciate you guys. And guys, remember. A big shot is just a little shot that kept on shooting. All right, guys, take care. Peace.